Visual artist Levi Poe is the winner of the 2020 Kasira Wells Award that is in partnership with the Straws and Company. As part of his winnings, Levi has scored himself a 10-week residency at the Bag Factory Artist Studios in Johannesburg. His solo exhibition with the gallery is titled Mpempe Ya Lapisa and is set to open from the 6th to the 26th of February. And to tell us more about this, Levi joins me now via Zoom. Levi, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us and welcome to Morning Live. Morning and thank you so much for having me. First of all, congratulations for that accolade. And just give us a brief background into who Levi Bowie is and how your passion for art came about. Um, basically, I'm an artist from Rustenburg in a place called Rankelenyani. Um, so my sort of um, beginning stages of art was really through my brother who sort of taught me the ways at a very young age. Um, that's the guy who would take me to galleries and exhibition space and really expose me to um, the arts. And so that passion was uh, started, started there and I later took it forward. Yeah. I've mentioned that you are the 2020 winner of the Kasira Wells Award. Tell us about that and what it means to you. Um, I think it's, it's a very sort of important opportunity for a young um, sort of emerging artist. Uh, you sort of get a studio space in a, at the Back Factory Artist Studios in Fortsburg for um, 10 weeks, which allows you to um, experiment with, with your, your craft, um, sort of stretch it, um, especially me <clears throat> as a person who didn't necessarily have a studio space it sort of uh, allowed me to work work on a uh, larger scale and sort of experiment with what with my development process mm -hmm. let's now get into yeah. your solo exhibition mpempe yala pisa just talk to us uh, well just talk us through this title and why it's befitting for this exhibition um i think mpempe yala pisa motokhona ke sagagwe is a sort of um, outside, outside of um, the sort of the sort of experience. It's, it comes from a place of looking at the elders, the elders and the arts in the South African art landscape, yeah. and sort of the issues that that were dealt with in the past, um, and sort of how a lot has changed, but at the same time, not re not a lot has changed. So, sort of working in parallel with that, and speaking to the current socio-political um, landscape and how yeah how things are really similar to to the past and i mean because when you look at the elders and the subject matter and how they navigated the townships and the urban space this is it's quite it's still quite similar to how we navigate the space now mm, so yeah. i think it's it comes from that position and um so obviously, I tackled issues of unemployment in my in my in my in my work, and issues of um, asking, 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 asking as, as as I mean the, the act of asking as being tiring. You know, it's better to have yes. your own sometimes. So it comes from that sort of reading of the past. Yeah, and the body of work that you'll be showcasing next weekend, Levi, just unpack for us the inspiration behind some of these pieces. Um, these pieces come from a position of, I guess, being born in 94. And, I mean, 1994 also being a year of, of, of change. And really how, from a perspective of youth, how... Um, <clears throat> Things um, are still the same, you know, and how we how we how we, how we deal with a lot of issues, and um, so I mean the, the works that talk about social grant, the fifty, the works that speak to um, basking in the city, you know, as much as um, things things are not quite how we want them to be, there's still some be um, beautiful aspects that you can find in the city. So I mean. Even even the music, street musicians as a way of um, how they how they sort of ask to be listened to, how they ask to be heard with what they know best, you know. Mm. 
you know, Levi, these are some of the most, most of yeah. your work, Levi, explores urban experiences of ordinary people. Tell us more about what sparked this kind of fascination. Um, I guess most, most of, of um, that sort of direction comes from really what I was attracted to in, in previous artists, and what I was exposed to from a young age. So I would um, sort of look at a lot of social realist people mm-hmm. who dealt with the quotidian scenes, the everyday scenes, um, um, especially in a place like Black Factory, where a lot of a lot of these artists um, sort of existed. Artists like um, mentioned a few David Kolohane, who spent quite a few years in, in in the space, and how he also tackled that every day. So these are artists I read, and of course, I would um, draw closer to that sort of genre of art. Mm-hmm. And uh, it suffices to mention that art is very personal and I would say subjective. And having said that, how would you describe the art that you produce? Um, I would say my art is a, is a social diary. It's a, it's a, it comes from, from, a, from experience, from my personal experience, experiences of people I know, experiences of you know, stories, of storytelling. Um, so it comes from the inside out. So... I guess most of the things that I really portray are things I've seen or experienced personally or, or have really engaged with, you know, from other people. Give us more details, Levi, on the exhibition and how art patrons can actually get access to view your PCs, especially now that uh, we are under adjusted level three lockdown. Yes, um, so the exhibition will be at the Bag Factory in Fordsburg on the 6th of February okay. until the 26th of Feb. Um, it will start at 11 a.m. Um, there will also be an, a sort of online um, catalog which will be available at, on the Strassen Co. website, um, so a sort of online version of exhibition. All right. All the best, uh, Levi. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. That was visual artist uh, Levi Poe, and uh, he's been speaking to us about his solo exhibition titled Mpempe Yalapisa that's set to take place at the Back Factory Artist Studios from next Saturday.